Okay, here we are in the master bedroom. We're all prepped, ready to go. Um, I started painting over here. You'll see the difference between the uh, original paint and the white, and that's only one coat. You'll see how I paper and tape all the floors. We already did the closet. Ran a piece of paper across the top. You'll see now everything's nice and white. We're going to go ahead and paint the rest of the ceiling and we'll be back with a final shot. Okay, we're back. We have one coat on the ceilings. Whoever painted this bedroom literally painted the ceilings the same color as the walls. You'll see that we spray all the, uh, the vents. We got to come back and hit it with one more coat once it's dry and you'll see the, uh, the the ceiling edge there where the wall is I go ahead and I spray that corner because we're gonna be repainting this bedroom a different color and that allows me to cut the line in nice and straight across the uh, ceiling ledge or edge excuse me but there you have it we'll be back with the second coat when it's done okay we have louver doors brown doors that were in the uh, master bedroom and what we're going to do rather than try to hand paint them we're going to give them a factory finish but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to spray them and prime them with uh ceiling white and then we're going to go over them again with a gloss white so we'll be back thanks okay we have the second uh, second coat on the ceilings you can see, uh, you'll see some dark spots, but they're still drying. When it's uh, all dry, it'll be pure white. And you'll see I did all these louver doors. It takes about 20 seconds per door instead of uh, doing them by brush. Not only that, but you get the factory finish. Then we got the uh, ceiling in here. This is all dry, beautiful, brand new. And there you have it. We're gonna repaint these walls, so. We'll be back. Okay, we're in one of the other bedrooms. This bedroom's a little bit bigger than the other two. But you'll see I got everything papered off. We're going to go ahead and uh, spray this closet out. Taped off the lights. Paper the floor. Top of the windows. And there you have it. We'll be back. Okay, I just want to show everybody what's underneath the stove. Isn't that something? Okay. Here's what it looks like after you pressure wash it. Like brand new. Okay, we're in the master bath right now. Gotta paint those ceilings. And again, the painters painted the ceilings the same colors as the walls. Paper up the lights, the mirrors. Get ready to do that vent. Gotta cover everything with tarps and we'll be all ready to spray. We'll be back. Okay, the master bath is prepped, papered and taped, ready to rock and roll. And that's how you prep a bathroom. The ceiling lines are gonna be nice and straight. And we're ready to spray it out. We'll be back. Okay, so here's the laundry room, ceilings. All sprayed, looking good. And uh, what's not looking too good is the floors. I just pulled this dryer out and uh, we're gonna clean that floor all up before the new washer and dryer get here. But anyway, just wanna show everybody what's up. We'll be back. Okay, I got the uh, washer and dryer out of the laundry room. So we're gonna clean that laundry room up and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Thanks.
Okay, laundry room floor is clean. Thousand percent better. I'm gonna go ahead and paint those baseboards and uh, we'll be ready to rock. There you have it. Okay, the master bath ceilings are done. Nice and white. Matter of fact, it's still drying, so you may see some dark spots. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. There you have it. The vents all done. You see when you spray, you get a factory finish. No brush marks. They look perfect. And there you have it. Okay, just want to let everybody know that we're going to replace all these old doorknobs and hinges as well before we paint. Take these doors right off and then uh, it's easy to cut in the uh, door frames. But you'll see that we're going to be replacing all of these. We'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna be painting the hallway ceilings. You'll see I got everything taped up. I already took the doors off, but we don't want the overspray to go into the rooms. So there you have it. Okay, so I removed all the uh, door doorknobs and uh, all the hinges on all the doors in the house because I'm gonna replace them with uh, polished brass. So I just wanted to show you, we're gonna go ahead and save these, okay? We'll see you later, bye. Okay, so we're in the garage and we're about ready to start spraying these doors, louver doors. Imagine how long it would take to brush them. Not only that, but we're gonna give them a factory finish with a gloss white enamel and they're gonna look like brand new. Here's some more over here. We took all the doors off in the house, all the hardware, the knobs, the hinges, and uh, two more over there. So the reason we're painting them in the garage is number one, the garage painting is next and we're painting the whole garage white. So if we get any white overspray on the walls, we don't really care because we're only going over it with the uh, wall paint anyway. So we're gonna paint this side tonight. And then tomorrow we'll turn the doors around and we'll paint the other side. So we'll be back. Okay, all the doors are sprayed, gloss white. I already took one inside, but just wanted to show everybody how nice they come out. And you'll see that white on the background. That's more or less a primer, which means now we have to use less paint when we paint those uh, garage walls. Let's go over here and take a look at these. See, they come out like brand new, right? Can't wait to get the door handles and all the uh, hinges with polished brass. Let's go ahead and put some of these doors back and we'll be back at you. Bye for now. Okay, okay, just wanted to show everybody that uh, if you ever wanna clean the inside window on your oven, all you gotta do is take a couple of screws out. And there you have it. We'll be back when it's all cleaned up. Okay, the inside of the glass is done. Now we have a brand new stove. Matter of fact, let's show everybody the, ins the inside of the stove too. Come out like brand new. And there you have it. Okay, here we are. We're gonna renovate this garage. We're gonna do the ceilings, the walls, the inside doors, and the floors. Now, luckily these walls are concrete, so we could pressure wash them and clean them up a little bit. I already did that back wall with the windows, pressure washed all the windows, cleaned them up. And uh, what we're doing basically on the floors is we're using uh, Simple Green. Simple Green is a cleaner that will clean these floors so that the paint will stick. If you do not uh, clean these floors properly, uh, you're not gonna have much luck with the paint sticking. And basically I'm using a, a pressure washer. It's got 1850 uh, PSI's. So we're also gonna do this back over here where the, the pool equipment is. 
and we'll be back. Just wanted to give everybody a quick shot. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. I forgot to mention that I use a, a pop-up sprayer and I mix a, a little bit of that simple green in with the water. So if you want an easy way to do it, there you go. Okay, all the pressure washing is done and you're gonna notice a lot of missing paint all over the place. The pressure washer gets rid of all the loose paint. So when you apply the paint to the floor, it's gonna stick. So we did all the walls. I pressure washed all the way back in there. We're gonna paint that floor in there too. And uh, we're gonna paint the ceilings, the garage doors. And there you have it, we'll be back. As part of the garage, there's an outside uh, walkway here. I pressure washed it. I think I might even paint that too, but uh, we'll see. We'll be back. Okay, we're ready to spray the garage out. You'll notice that I papered and taped that trim on those windows so we can spray right over them. But we're gonna be doing the ceilings, the walls, and the doors today. See uh, all the way over there, we papered those windows as well. Also gonna paint these garage doors. So, oh, I cleaned up the back over here. We're also gonna be painting these walls as well. And then the floors. So, we'll be back. Okay, let's go look in the garage. All the ceilings and walls are completed and doors. You'll see that I sprayed all of these garage doors. They look like brand new factory finished spray. Those windows took all the paper and tape off. A whole lot easier to spray them than it is using a brush. You get a perfect job, factory finish. Here's the uh, back corner. You'll notice that I sprayed all these tanks. I put my little spray machine over there because that's where it's gonna stay for now. But uh, you'll see all of the walls nice and white, not brown. Ceilings nice and white. And guess what? We haven't used a paintbrush on this entire project. The only time we'll use a paintbrush on this job will be for the inside door frames and baseboards. Other than that, everything is sprayed. And there you have it. We'll be back on the floors. The floors are next. Got to clean these floors up a little bit, but uh, we'll be back. Catch you later. I just wanted to give everybody a, a look at the garage from the outside looking in. Looks a whole lot better, that's for sure. We'll be back. Okay, we're almost ready to paint the floor. You'll see that I've cut everything in along the uh, wall edges. All of this over here front of the doors. Corners. And back here, what I did was I ran a piece of tape to split the uh, gray and the white. No sense of painting the back gray. I don't really feel like getting on my hands and knees for that. Nobody goes back there anyway. So there you have it. We're getting ready to roll the floors out and we'll be back. Okay, I forgot to mention, it's a good idea to go around and hit all the bare spots with a little primer coat first. That way when you roll the floor around, at least you got a, a third coat because it's gonna require two coats. Plus I uh, normally hit the bare spots first and let them dry a little bit. We'll be back. Okay, the garage is done. Floors are all done. Let's just take a look. Came out beautiful. Take a look 
at the back corner over here. Like brand new. Nice sheen on the uh, floors. Satin finish. You'll see the factory finish on all the doors. Looks like a million bucks. Ceilings are all good. And we're ready to rock and roll. And there you have it. We'll be back with the next project. Okay, our next mission is this waterfall. We're going to be cleaning this up with some chlorine like you put in the pool. We'll spray all these stones and all this grout with the chlorine. And it should come out like a million bucks. At the bottom here, we're going to have to clean out. And uh, once we get done, we'll be back. Wow, I just want to show everybody the difference. This side is clean right here. In fact, I'm probably going to hit that with another shot of bleach. And you can see the dirty side. Incredible, right? Filthy dirty, and this is beautiful. A beautiful fountain. I cleaned the outside of this already. You can see the difference. It's going to take me forever. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, uh, the fountain is all cleaned up. Look at how nice that looks. I cannot believe that they let this thing go so bad. But anyway, there it is. Talk to you later.